Hello everybody, coming to you from a very hot Philippines. I'm out in the country today doing a little experiment. Well, I'm looking for a place to fish. So, uh, did catch a little tilapia. <laughs> I was kind of trying to save him, but he got away. So, <clears throat> what prevented me from going fishing, let me flip the camera around just a sec. You can see some of the river here. It's been a lot of rain. This is the rainy season, very high. Normally you probably could walk another hundred or so meters to the bank, but it overflows. And I'm trying in these little side pockets cause I see a whole lot of fish moving around here. I'm sure there's a ton of fish in the river, but I'm gonna go right down here in this corner because I was walking around and I see a lot of fish moving here where the water overflowed into and also up there too but it's quite a bit muddy don't want to take the truck down through all of that it's a shame I washed it yesterday and well it's what a truck's for so I'm going to rebait this hook and see if I can catch some more of these tilapia. I could see them right by the bank swimming. They're not too big. If my wife was here like the one I caught and let it get away, she would be like, oh. Because Filipinos love the smaller fish, the young ones like that, us Americans. I want them about as big as my hand. And the reason I'm here is for that reason, it's a guy I seen, a Filipino guy, caught a lot of big tilapia here. I mean, huge tilapia bigger than my hand so I plotted the direction as best I could on Google map and drove out here and found it and so let me just try and see what happened I'm not really planning on hardcore fishing one is very hot here I only brought very little gear a rod and reel some bait and a little tackle as an experiment then I'm gonna go shopping so let's check it out so got some more worm on my hook. I'm gonna take off down here again. Let me show you this place. So head down here and try it again. Cause in this little corner here, I've seen some nice size fish moving and a big splash but there's also a lot of little ones. So let me see if there's any way I can adjust the camera to focus on this. Cause it's just me and I'm not prepared. So we'll see what that gets. Maybe nothing.
folks, I had to stop fishing. One, my phone overheated and it stopped. Very hot outside. This is the first time this phone has did that. So, but it's extremely hot. My shirt's all wet. <clears throat> I had a couple little bites. Saw some big ones move. But, of course, none of them came to me. But it is extreme, extremely hot. My feet were burning up with the black sandals from that draw more heat. So that's a short video, but I see for the future, this is a worthwhile place to consider coming to fish. I just need to come in the morning because mostly in the afternoon they have the thunderstorms. And, and as I see, my phone is not gonna operate in this extremely hot weather. And there's not a lot of people here and the road just ends right behind me cause the rest of the road is flooded out. So I'm gonna use the rest of this time to pick up a few things I need uh, from the supermarket and that will call it a day. So not a very productive day on fishing, but this was kind of a, a search for a place. It's a bit of a drive to get out here. I wouldn't say that long. It's 20 minutes, but just driving through the traffic in the Philippines, if you've ever been here before, that's a bit of a drive. So I got to make my way out of here, which is interesting, but thank God there's not a lot of really tiny, narrow streets and stuff. So I might try to show the way out if I can adjust my camera enough, but probably not because I need to keep my eyes on the on this dirt trail but I will try so but if not y'all forgive me thank you for joining me bye now so back again I was able to find something to hang the phone to where I can kind of show the trail out of here so bye bye fishing place I uh, probably will be back. So, it's not too muddy, even though it rained like crazy last night. I find that the uh, water really evaporates very fast here. Very fast. So, it's going to be a little bumpy getting out of here. Just a moment. Let's see, my uh, thing I got ain't the best in the world. Well, it's old. That's why I had to replace it. Because it's old. All right, we starting again. I have to go a little slower. I don't know where that one goes, but I'll save that for another day. But let me get out of here and hope I don't scratch the truck up too bad. So I can make it back to the main road. So you see some rice fields, some vegetable fields, a lot of farming going on. <clears throat> and that's how most people make their living around this area. All right. I see a guy over there preparing the rice field for the next plant planting. I know it's a lot of chili peppers there. Up like Kaliman sea trees, tiny ones. When I first seen all these fields like that, I thought they were fish ponds. But it's rice fields that they're getting ready. So 
almost out of this and I think that was the worst part. The rest is okay. And then I'll be back on the road, which I will then switch off the camera because I need to put my GPS on. I don't know the area I live in that well. That's why I drive around. So once I get on the hard surface, that will be it. So this is a place that's definitely worth coming back for future fishing videos. And a good thing about the Philippines, guess what everybody, you do not need a fishing license here. You can just go fishing, just like that. So we are out and back at the main road. And I thank everybody for joining me because I'm going to have to cut this off. But before I do, Thank you, and I'll say bye. And one note, even the main road is shaking. <laughs> so, bye.